Hello humans, welcome to or welcome back to the Mia Hide where I share things about myself I don't usually share with others. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I post a video. Hitting that like and subscribe button really helps my channel. Please help me reach my goal of 1k subscribers. I really want to take this channel somewhere. I don't want to be a millionaire but I do want to take this channel somewhere because it helps me and I hope it helps someone else so I'm back I think that's how I'm supposed to start this but um I did take a break sort of yeah kind of it was not by choice I did have things planned I thought that this whole quarantine lockdown was gonna have me do more videos since I was gonna be home 24 7 but that just wasn't the case. Now, if you did not notice yet by the title, this is my mental health update. But before I get into that, if you haven't noticed, I am wearing a beanie, but I actually shaved my head. Um, so I will actually uh, put in the clip of me shaving my head right now. I shaved my head um, it was kind of an impulse I was thinking about it like maybe a year now I thought like what if I shave my head I wonder like what I would look like or like it just sounded cool like to me it just sounded like such a cool thing like it kind of made me feel edgy and I was like okay maybe I should try it but last week when I um, decided officially I was just you know what I'm gonna do it so I told my mom it's time for me to shave my head and I was like that's it final decision don't care how this looks I might not have the head for it but I just want to do it now that I have done it I am in love with my hair I actually took some pictures I said it to my best friend um, my mom's friend who was like really excited for me and also my college roommates and my aunt from Arkansas they they love it my aunt from Arkansas actually screamed she didn't even know it was me but she loves it and I just got in such positive feedback that it kind of made me think like any other thing I want to do I should just do it um, without worrying about what other people might think so so yeah that's my shaved head also I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video don't forget to check out my Instagram Twitter and TikTok now TikTok I caved in I got it in September but I wasn't really uploading until maybe November but I just love the energy on there and I love the different sides of TikTok and I just feel really comfortable so I was all like okay I'm gonna put energy into that and actually during um, the beginning of lockdown I was putting videos on there but I decided you know what I'm gonna take that energy from TikTok bring it here and hopefully I can get the same amount of followers because over there I have 300 here I only have 50 so hopefully I could bring that energy over here and reach my goal of 1k now on what this video is about um, my mental health update yeah it's it's not a lot it's just a lot to really process and think about again because 
coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, was a really big part in my relapse. So I did relapse. It was like a year and a half that I was suicidal free and I, I was, you know, on my journey to getting better and I just, I got overwhelmed and I just didn't feel um, mentally stable. I was full of negative thoughts and I had suicidal thoughts again. But thankfully, I have my mom, my sister, you know, my family here to support me. They really did help me, my therapist. Um, they're helping me right now. Um, I am getting better and I am recovering now with school. Um, we were all in school, me and my sisters. I have two sisters here at home because obviously all schools were moved to online. So it's three of us. And during that time, I did have four classes at a community college but it didn't really work out because of COVID-19 and because of my relapse I just had to drop them because I didn't want to stay with an F I wanted to be able to have an incomplete that way I can retake them and get the um, grade that I know I deserve at first I thought I was failing I thought I was failing myself as a student and I thought I was failing my family because I had to drop my classes I had like those thoughts that I used to have when I first took that leave of absence because I felt like I'm just putting school on pause again. I just thought that I wasn't really going to succeed anymore, but um, but I knew it was the best decision I could make. Now I am making a separate video on my spring 2020, everything in specific when it has to do with school and things that I learned so that I can give tips. Um, for the upcoming semester, especially for my first-gen students. Now, on this recovery, I did get a lot of help from my therapist and my family. You know, we had family meetings, although they don't always work. They do at least give some information on how I feel. It helps my family know what's going through my head, even if they don't really fully understand. But um, it really helps. Like, at least I could say something and actually feel better that I said it out loud. So that really helps me during my recovery. Like I said, my therapist, yes, it's online, and for the rest of the year of 2020, it's going to be virtual, which I kind of don't like because I don't like talking about my issues when, like, my, you know, my family's in the other room. But then I thought, well, I'm talking about it online, so maybe it shouldn't be too bad. But I just feel like it's a whole different vibe. I like being in the room, like, on the comfy couch with my therapist and, like, just having a real conversation. Um, but it is what it is virtual you know this whole 2020 has been crazy so that's just how it's going to be i am way better than i was in the beginning of our lockdown because i did have time to reflect and really focus on myself um, right after i relapsed so it was it was really eye-opening because i had lots of time in my head and even though that can go really bad it kind of went good for me even though my whole family's here and we're kind of sick of each other already i still had time to myself we are in the middle of kind of renovating i don't know if that's the right word but we're kind of like pimping out our house so we did start with my room first we got um rid of our other beds honestly they were ugly they were all breaking apart we got a new bed and we got these dressers from ikea <laughs> and um we got wood floors i don't know if i said that already did i I don't think so yeah we got wood floors we painted the room white it used to be this ugly yellow I, it was just not cute it looked like the walls were dirty and then we changed my parents room as well so they have wood floor we painted it already our living room is painted um and then we got a new dining set um and we're just like really like making this place our home because we do rent an apartment and yeah it's not like the biggest but it's very cozy which i don't mind um for the most part i know i had to share my room with two other sisters um but you know it's cool i like that we have this time also that we can like really like focus on projects here at home and really make this our home i feel like it's really put together now and I feel like my room is a sanctuary and I honestly feel like that's very important because you want to feel like you belong in your room and you want to feel like you can go to your room when 
when you feel um, sad or down or anything like that so I just really love that this is is not gonna stay um, it's messy yeah that's just, just don't look at it just it, it's fine now before I end this video I do want to uh, mention that now that I kind of got myself together and gonna start uploading videos I did make sort of a new posting schedule so let me get my phone here um, my upload days are gonna be Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays but they kind of have like a theme so Mondays is mental health Mondays it's gonna be mental health related videos so like these is mental health updates or anything that has to do with mental health and my journey Wednesdays is gonna be wellness Wednesdays so it has to do with self-care and focusing on the eight dimensions of wellness and if you do not know what that is don't worry I will make a video on that um, and how I apply the eight dimensions of wellness to my life is different for everyone and I don't take it as literal but I do take it in a way that helps me and then Fridays I call it first gen Fridays so anything that has to do with school and anything that has to do with first generation students I would have those type of videos on Fridays now sometimes I do like to do extra videos like sit down videos where I'm talking about controversial topics you know some important topics that I want to talk about that would be on Tuesdays so I call them talking Tuesdays those would be considered bonus videos because my upload days are Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays but sometimes I like to do extra so Tuesdays if I post on a Tuesday that's the thing for Tuesday talking Tuesday yeah I hope that makes sense and if I post on a Thursday those are random things Thursday so anything that's like trending or like viral or like anything fun like let's say I go to Starbucks and like I get a popular drink to try it like stuff like that I do want to have fun with this I, I am gonna make another video like I said another video on like why I'm not gonna niche down if you don't know what that is that's fine you'll find out in that video because this channel is for me but I also want to show the side of me um, that might help other people so it's I don't want to do this like as a business because I don't really care about that side of YouTube I want to make sure that my voice is heard so that it can help other people like me because that's what I looked for before I started my channel and I know that if I at least if I at least help one person I've achieved my goal and then also one more forgot one more theme so Sundays would be skincare Sundays so anything that has to do with skincare like my Instagram is mostly about skincare and acne positivity so if I do a video on that it would be set on Sunday so those would be bonus videos so again Monday Wednesdays and Fridays I'm upload days Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays are extra bonus days that I'm like pop in a video. So like if next week I'll have Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I think I'm going to have a Sunday skincare video next week. I think I have to look again. I have this new planner, so like I'm well planned out, I hope. Also, I will be like bulk filming, so I will like film like one to two days of the week. So I would be wearing like the same outfit or whatever, and um, that way I dedicate like one or two days to just filming and then one day to just editing and then uploading that way I'm kind of spread myself out but then I have enough time to do everything that way I can be more consistent and that way I have time to also be a person and a student a daughter a sister you know so I want to make sure that that I'm well organized and consistent also all my videos will go live at 9 a.m. So whenever I post, it would always be 9 a.m. I just felt like that's the best time for my channel, for me. That way I can interact with comments and I could like post it on my Instagram. It's just a time that really works for me. So I will post my uploading schedule on my story. I'll probably pop it here in the, in the video. That way you know. Also, don't forget to put that notification bell. That way you know when I post and you can see it as soon as they're posted. All right, now to end this video, I do want to mention that I did create this Google form and I will link it down below in the description. It's just for you to answer some questions that has to do with mental health. You guys can fill it out if you want. Thank you for watching this video. I'm so glad to be back and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Ooh.